Bitcoin dumping, Ethereum dumping. But shall we buy some BTT and how high can BTT go? Welcome back guys, it's Crypto Rocco here and in today's video we'll be looking at BTT and some of the key levels it can be going to. So guys without further ado let's get into the video. So first thing that we should look at is guys what BitTorrent and Ethereum is doing. And to be honest guys BitTorrent um Bit I said Bit BitTorrent I called Bitcoin BitTorrent. <laughs> That's funny. But anyways, so Bit Bitcoin and Ethereum and Litecoin and XRP they're the king big big coins. When they drop guys most of the coins drop. So we need to keep a very very close eye on BitTorrent. And it, as you can see guys Bitcoin broke out of this this pendant or triangle whatever you call it this bear flag and it broke down but it's still holding that 786 level if we see a weak bounce and and we see something like this and it drops then it's going to look really bad for for bitcoin i'm not fully bearish here i'm not really in a position i'm only in a small long litecoin position i'm still got some litecoin but apart from that i'm not i've not really got a, a big bitcoin position and ethereum breakdown is a lot more lot more clearer as you can see it's a nice really triangle continuation pattern and it broke down it's very clean and um, I, I mean I could have shorted that if I was, I was I've been trading uh, Forex I mean if I wasn't I would have looked to short Ethereum as you can see but it is forming this kind of double bottom so we could see some uh, upward movements and it's above the 786 level as well because Ethereum saw a, a larger bounce than Bitcoin but at the moment it's not looking good and we could see more downside there is some support um, around this level as you can see um, so maybe ethereum comes down to that level so there could be a short shorting opportunity if you are a trader um, according to my strategy as well if it pulls back I might look to short it but what we came the main purpose for this video is BTT so guys how far would BTT go so I've drawn my fib levels you can watch my previous video about BitTorrent where I've talked about how I see it going or where I see it going so in this video I'll just update you guys so as you can see guys 618 is a key extension um, that usually um, is a resistance level and this held then we broke out again and you know I was thinking you know you can't break up above that level that's the sort of level I was looking at and it broke out again and hit 4236 can it go higher and hit my next level it can guys it, there, when there's so much kind of form around it and fear of missing out and this is the only coin every, on Twitter and everywhere people are just talking about this coin I'll also talk about my position as you can see I got in some uh, BTT finally I, I've not really been buying any because I, I, I didn't buy I'm not I'll be honest guys according to my strategy this was a really good level to buy my RSI was in the 50 to 60 zone and uh, it was a perfect uh, buying opportunity I didn't buy it because I was scared and I, I'm, I'm being completely honest and I missed out on a 162 percent move so that was a really bad miss uh, by myself um, but I didn't trade it because it was a really really risky trade low liquidity and there's airdrop coming out and all the trade that I've taken now I've posted it on my on my Twitter when I got in and with my stop loss uh, the only reason um, I've got in this trade is everyone's talking about it I thought I'll get in the act and technically this looks good for a move up although it's slightly earlier entry I usually like to see a breakout with volume but as you can see guys um, when the price was increasing it was increasing with higher volume the bear move is low volume so that's an interesting thing to look out for so that's one of the reasons I got in and it's a it's a good level to get in it could drop to this level as well this should be very very strong support and um, if, if if it drops I'll, I'll probably miss uh, my stop loss will be hit and I could look to get in around this level and um, but yes that's a good, that's a fairly decent entry it's also the 50 moving average as you can see so and it's the 220 moving average on the four hour chart there is a lot of confluence my target would be around this level there's a lot of uh, resistance around here so I'd probably exit most of my position it's a quick trade um, it's nothing big uh, I'm not buying to hold I will I've not had the chance to uh, research on BitTorrent and Tron and the airdrop because I think there might be a dump so I will make a longer video on kind of the fundamentals of, of uh, BitTorrent and Tron and uh, maybe tomorrow or next day so stay tuned for that 
so that's the reason why I entered this position and for my targets guys I th see this holding and when you do technical analysis or it's all about kind of learning from previous price pattern to predict what will happen holo chain was a coin that I did trade massively and um, I didn't uh, trade it here but I got in and you can see you can go through my videos guys holo chain I've been talking about it for three four weeks and I'm still in a ho small holo chain position most of it I've taken out but I'm still in a very uh, a small holo chain position and if you see where it bounced from guys it was the 50% level where is BTT now it's, it's at the 50% level and there's other fib extensions that I've talked about and um, another, another reason why I'm long term I don't think it will break this level is if you look at holo chain guys where did it stop 4236 where is our BTT now? It's already at 4236 on the first pump. So there is some similarities. If it breaks above it and gives us price action and then we see massive volume, then I might get in again for a trade. But at the moment, um, as you can see, unless it breaks this level and there will be really strong resistance around this level. And with the fundamentals, I will make another video. Like I said, I'll research a lot more with what's going on and update you guys. Um, there could be some potential risks to buying this at the moment and um, that's just my thoughts guys as and you can see guys um holo chain got a really good bounce um, it could, we could get another bounce about 40 50 percent but if it can't go above this level then it, it doesn't look good and we could break down um bta we can we can go lower on on holo chain and and i'd expect it to hold this level the 618 level um if if it plays out, so um, if you if, if Holo Chain kind of breaks 50% level, I'll probably look to sell, um, and I don't think I'll be holding Holo Chain. So Holo Chain, that this will be some support around Holo Chain for this this zone, and then that should be strong support. So that's what I'm looking at for Holo Chain. Again, I could be completely wrong, and it could run. I mean, that's why I said I'm I'm in a small position. But if you look at the price pattern as well, guys, when when these green candles were going up, you can see the amount of volume. These green candles, there's no volume, and it, and it's bearish price pattern as well. We can see that kind of uh, doji bar that was at the top. We're seeing these now here, and it's a double top as well. So it's not looking very good. And um, there are a few other uh, um, suggestions on Twitter and and my comments that I've got from people asking. I'll, I will reply to most of the co uh, comments, guys. I, I try to get back to all of you. I really appreciate um, your support that that you guys give me. Um, and um, if you haven't subscribed guys make sure you subscribe and um, I'll be making a lot more videos and and I try to get back to you guys with any videos you want me to so link is another coin that we have bought and been really profitable you can see how uh, when I've been trading it and I've been making videos for link for a while I think I said it is is this the best looking crypto chart uh, when link broke out uh, best looking crypto chart that was three weeks ago when I was talking about link and um, at the moment guys link as you can see it's, it's at the previous levels and I'm expecting to see a bounce but if it can't hold above this level and this support this support becomes a resistance then holo chain um, chain link might be going down and it's, it's a cycle guys bitcoin goes up then the bigger market caps like ethereum litecoin v, v chain xrp they take a jump and then really small coins take a jump that and then bitcoin dumps that's the cycle that 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 keep happening and and it seems to happen again few coins that few people suggested i'm um, sorry if i've missed your coins today i will try to do them tomorrow and um, i'll make a list of some of the suggestions i think one coin was mco um, if you see from this chart guys it's in a very very strong downward pattern and tr trying to you could look to buy the bottom few people try and do that um, but it's quite risky but some people do it it's not my strategy and you can get some really good bounces but if it breaks down it's not very, looking very good I'll try to buy it when if you see holo chain weekly chart guys you'll see that it's in an upward trend I'll try to buy coins that are starting the upward trend and these coins are very at the bottom so MCO is not that great I mean it could prove me wrong but it's not my part it's not my strategy and um, another one was Stratus 
um, it's again you can see guys it's below all the moving averages it's in a long downward pattern you can see the bearish rejections from the moving average the bearish candle pattern it's not looking very good what you can do is wait for it to break kind of this high and um, if it breaks the, the the previous high you could look to buy it but at the moment for me it's not that good uh, V chain was another one V chain is slightly V chain was slightly better if I'm if I may say it was trying to kind of move above uh, the moving averages as you can see but I was waiting for it to hold that level um, and then if, if, if we saw it move up I would have bought it because that was a really really important zone and I believe it was the 236 Fib level as well um, if I may I've got the V chain chart on my other trading view account what's going on here my computer doesn't seem to be working as you can see it's the 236 level as well so that was a very very strong resistance if it uh, held that level and broke above I would have bought some I'm not gonna lie I would have definitely had bought some so that's just a quick video guys um, apologies if I've missed any of your requests I hope you that enjoyed that video and we'll see how my bit torrent uh, position goes like I said uh, my position was I think two five and two six so I'm slightly up now um, but I mean it's, it's a, too early I, I usually wait for the breakout for my strategy and the RSI is a bit low as well but I thought I'd get in and my target is around that level so fairly decent risk to reward ratio we'll see how this plays out i'll make another video to recap my uh, bittorrent trade and i'll also talk about kind of the fundamentals behind bittorrent of airdrop and how i see kind of buy the rumor sell the news kind of thing playing out um at the moment i don't see it breaking up another high but that could be a potential target if 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 it breaks above with massive volume like this i might hold my position and um wait for it to hit that target some people are talking about sort of hitting that level and um, another target that I have got potentially is um, uh, around that level so if it does break above it we need to see if it can hold um, the target that I had it was on my other chart is around those two levels and and that is an extension that we we see a lot of the times um, I tried to do some wave uh, Elliott wave for it as well and potentially this could be the fourth wave and we see a fifth wave and um, but it will be weaker than the third but we could see a higher high that's just my thoughts on BitTorrent guys I hope you've enjoyed that video if you have enjoyed it guys smash that like button and subscribe to my channel I don't uh, sell courses or try and charge you guys it's all free so if you want to help me out guys if you subscribe to my channel it would really mean a lot to me and also guys turn on the notification button it helps with the Rolls Royce alg um, it helps with the YouTube and um, BitTorrent and it helps with the YouTube algorithm I don't know what I'm talking about it is quite late and I'm very tired uh, it helps with the YouTube algorithm so if you can turn on the notification button also I'm giving $250 worth of XRP if you want to be in with a chance to winning that make sure you subscribe to my channel turn on the notification button and leave your XRP address below so make sure you smash that like button subscribe to my channel and turn on the notification button finally guys uh, what's your thoughts on BTT do you think it will break out do you think it's a profitable trade that I've taken uh, what are your thoughts what are your predictions for BTT so thank you very much guys smash that like button subscribe to my channel and I'll see you guys soon with another great video thank you very much